A law firm's growth potential explodes when it can crack the code to business development. Now, BTI just finished up a study, and what we found is that the firms who have successfully cracked this code to business development are seeing significant financial benefits. Compared to other firms, these pace setters, that's what we'll call them, they enjoy eight times the growth with their top clients, larger client relationships overall, and they're also growing their profits per attorney four times faster. Now, clearly, cracking this code to business development isn't easy since only a small percent of firms, in fact, it's only 10.8% of firms who have been able to cut through what is essentially a deafening wall of business development tactics and strategies available, and these pay setters have been able to zero in on the absolute ideal mix of activities that achieve massive scalable growth for law firms. Now, the good news is, is what we found in our research is that out of all of these hundreds of business development activities available, there's 10, and in fact, only 10 that truly matter, at least when it comes to driving this, this outsized growth. The challenge is, outsized growth comes from doing each of these activities, not simply a select few. And this is the hurdle that we all face, right? Most firms have problems going from the idea of what they should be doing for marketing and business development and implementing or even optimizing these strategies while still keeping the day-to-day -day work of the law firm moving ahead. And quite frankly, it is a little complicated, but what we're going to do today is really start to break down each of these activities. And we'll start with the first one, this idea that we're going to target the best clients and prospects available. Now, Revenue growth for the firms who do this approach, who target specific clients and specific business development opportunities, their revenue growth is 10 to 15 times higher than it is for firms who don't take this approach. And the reason that this approach is powerful is because targeting specific clients really enables a firm to better understand the individual opportunity that they're pursuing and can in turn craft a very effective, custom, client-focused, focused on business implications response for that unique opportunity. This dramatically increases the odds of closing new business much more than if you were to take sort of a generic approach of we're going to be all things to all people, say you, you know, respond to an RFP with just including the firm details as opposed to focusing on a unique opportunity. So pace setters are very good at identifying um, and quite frankly defining what their ideal target client looks like and what the ideal target business opportunity looks like. Because again, they know that success is going to come when they maximize the effectiveness of their business development outreach rather than maximize the number of attempts they make at chasing a business development opportunity. So what they do here, and you can see on the screen, they use a very well-defined target client statement. And this helps them assess market opportunities. Now you can see there's a few unique differentiators that the firm has included. These help attract more clients to your firm than a more generalized statement that resonates with few clients and few potential clients. Now, additionally, what the pace setters will do is they will also assess all the business opportunities that cross their path to determine if it makes sense to respond to an RFP or participate in a pitch. Essentially, they want to know, does it make sense to expend the time and the resources and the money to pursue this opportunity? Because quite frankly, not every new piece of work is going to be that complex, marquee, premium rate matter that we're always chasing. And so sometimes we need to make a judgment call on whether or not the opportunity is right for our firm to take. And that's what the pace setters are doing. Not all our law firms take this approach. So the pace setters will ask a series of questions to evaluate each new business opportunity that they encounter to ensure that that opportunity aligns with their firm's, say, strategic plan. Is it aligning with our firm's financial and profit goals? Does this make sense for who we are as a brand and where we see ourselves in the market? 
So they are going through asking these questions of their opportunities before they make the decision on spending the resources, the time, and the money to go after that opportunity. So that is the first marketing and business development tactic that the pace setting law firms are using to their advantage to drive outsized growth in today's legal market. 